This just in from the Anti-Conspiracy League calling for a world tribunal for Illuminati crimes committed against humanity. The Anti-Conspiracy League is a coalition of true Christians that have not compromised the truth and who make a stand against evil. Needless to say, they are not that group professing to be Christian, and neither are they associated or affiliated with any religious organization. Their mission statement is to, quote, defend the word of God no matter what the cost, unquote. They apparently have no leader other than Jesus Christ. Here is their communique. All right, this is even worse than I first thought. Have in mind that Steve Sidna Salad we have first died on April 16, 2014, and in the month of May 2014 in the article, Kernel of Truth, Noonday Contest Story, because this guy reported that Sidness died this month, which was in the month of May. So now we have this soulless entity predicting the future, because this was published on April 7th. 2014 so seven days before Steve Sidness death so if somebody is a murderer it is soulless first because he foreknew the death of Steve Sidness but in fact he is Steve Sidness trying to hide because Endurance International is in very hot water right now class actions are all over the internet there must be a real communication issue about the timing of those communication internet companies Steve actually being the executive advisor of Endurance International, so why do you think he faked his death? He is very well known by Owen Harris, special agent of Charlotte FBI in North Carolina, so that's no wonder. The truth is that he trapped me first with his pity ploy of the homeless man, just like he trapped David Dees with his ploy in order to get to the Jeff Rents program to give credibility to his fake name, Soul Esprit, but no worries. Even his job is fake because Steve Sidna said it was in 1956, published on his WordPress on April 22, 2014 i.e. five days after his first alleged death but in fact he was born on Jan 19, 1955. Even his date of birth is a lie, his whole life is a lie but everything is under control. Solus praised God in touch with the anti constipacy League, who of course were eager to contact Soilus P for their important communique. This is just another scam invented in his sick mind to give importance to his pen name that he is putting on a pedestal and would kill for it. Like David Deese said on the cover of the book Karma is a Bitch, and especially an angry one when it found out that the scum who writes books as Sol Esprit is a little more than a washed-up ex-CEO and two-bit politician with a psychopathic tendency to trap and weasel thousands of dollars from good people who only sought to help him in his bizarre dire need as a homeless author living in his van. Getting bit by spiders, it all sounds absurd and it is, this book will never see the light of day, will never be published, and will never hurt innocent people again. Because this book is a fake, a phony, and a freaking faced old lie, this demon that calls himself Soul Esprit will take the fall he richly deserves. And hiding behind a Christian mask serves to only delay the satanic entity from being finally exposed as the sick man he really is, run from the sadist. Run as fast as you can. This just in from the Anti-Conspiracy League calling for a world tribunal for Illuminati crimes committed against humanity. The Anti-Conspiracy League is a coalition of true Christians that have not compromised the truth and who make a stand against evil. Needless to say, they are not that group professing to be Christian and neither are they associated or affiliated with any religious organization. Their mission statement is to, quote, defend the word of God no matter what the cost, unquote. They apparently have no leader other than Jesus Christ. Here is their communique. Endurance Shareholder Hallard, Andrews and Springer LLC is investigating 
Endurance International Group Holdings Incorporated for Potential Securities Fraud. On April 28, 2015, investment analyst the firm Gotham City Research LLL, sorry, LLC, released a report disclosing that 40 to 100 portions of the company's profits were suspect. Specifically, the report highlights, among other things, one related party transactions between the company and entities tied to the company CEO Ari Ravi Chandran. Two, accounting irregularities relating to the company's international business. And three, evidence that the company owes terrorist-related websites along with malware spam-related accounts. As a result of this news, endurance international stocks price has fallen more than 17 percent so far in intraday causing trading causing harm to investors. I will seriously advise you to simply stop doing business with endurance international.